guys welcome back to take dose and in this video we will look at minimum domino rotations for equal row problem which is from lead code number 1007 let's now read the problem statement in a row of dominoes top psi and bottom psi represent the top and the bottom halves of the ith domino a domino is a tile with two numbers from 1 to 6 one on each half of the tile we may rotate the ith domino so that the top psi and bottom psi swap the values Return the minimum number of rotations so that all the values in the tops are the same or all the values in the bottoms are the same. Okay, so we don't need to make them both same at the same time, but we just need to make sure that either the tops or the bottoms comes out to be having all the faces as same. And the operations allowed are we can do swap of the corresponding indices. And if we cannot make all the tops as same or all the bottoms as same by trying all possible configurations, then we need to return minus one. So in this case, the swap means you can swap the uh, first face here uh, with the with the first face of the bottoms. So in that case, five will come up and two will come down if you want to do that swap, right? So if you try out all the configuration, then you will see that maybe uh, for a given tops and bottoms ith index, you may have two options whether you want to do the swap or you don't want to do the swap right and then you move on to the next index and again you will have two choices whether you want to do the swap or you don't want to do the swap right so in that case you will have two to the power n number of configurations and if you apply dynamic programming on this problem then it will be approximately n square uh, number of sub problems in which uh, you can try and uh, find out if you can make all the tops as same or all the bottoms as same. Now, if you try out all the configuration, then you will find out that if you had swapped the first index and the fourth index counting from zero, uh, then you can convert all the tops to be equals to two and it will take minimum number of steps where the number of swaps are two. And that is why the answer is two, right? So it may be also possible that you can convert you know you can make these uh, tops equals to two or maybe also equals to one you should always track the minimum number of steps i will show you uh, in the example set but before moving there if you try the dp approach or somewhat similar approach then an n square algorithm will take four times of 10 to the power of eight time complexity number of computations which is greater than 10 to the power of eight so this is not going to run within one second right this is higher than 10 to the power of 8. So we cannot solve with an n square approach. Possibly we have to go with a greedy approach because the DP approach will not work as you can see here, right? The bottom's length and the top's length will be equal. Okay, and each of the face values will range only from 1 to 6. That is understood from the problem statement. Now let's look at some observations. So in this case, one of the six unique configurations will give you the result for sure because we just have six unique faces that you know. Let's take an example of tops and bottoms. I have already given it. Now in this particular case, what we can do is we can try to make all the top faces equals to one. Can we make it? So we need to try how you can try. So you just look at index number zero. If this value top set I, or that means top set zero, if it is equals to one, then yes, you do not need any swap and you move to the next index. But if it is not equals to one, then you will check the bottom set zero and it is equals to one. So you will perform the swap, simply perform the swap, right? So in that case, one will come up and three will come down. And now you move to the next index at index one. You check this two. Is it equals to one? No. Then you check bottom set one, which is equals to three. So none of them are equals to one. This means making all the tops equals to one will never be possible will never be possible because even if you swap two and three, it is not going to become one, right? So what do you think? If you cannot make all the tops as ones, can can you say that I will make all the bottoms as one? Well, that will absolutely not be possible because if these two corresponding items, two and three, were not equals to one, none of them were equals to one, then how can you make bottoms equals to one? So you will always find that if the tops cannot be made made equal to a face, then bottoms will never be able to be made equal to the same face, all the equal faces, right? That cannot happen. And that is why we will never solve for bottoms. We will never even try uh, to make bottoms equals to one in this case, right? And we will skip this face and we will try for the next configuration of two because we know that there are only uh, six unique faces. So I will try for two. 
and I will try to see if I can make all the tops as equals to 2. So you see the first index here is saying this is 3 and this is 1. That means none of them are equals to 2. So immediately you can say that I cannot make the tops equals to 2. And if I cannot make tops equals to 2, I cannot make the bottoms equals to 2 as well. Okay, because I, I must have found a index where the corresponding items in both tops and bottoms are not equal to the face value to which I may, I want to make it equal to, right? So, so you cannot solve for it. Similarly, you go for 3 and try to solve it. So if you solve for 3, you will see that, okay, in the tops, you have a 3 here. Okay, fine. So this is like, uh, you know, I, I can just skip it. I don't need to swap. For this 2, this is not equal. But if you look at the corresponding item 3, then yes, it is equal. So I can do a swap. So you can add plus 1 count for it. Then you can see these 2 are 3. So you can just skip that. You, you see this 6. So look at the corresponding item 3. And yes, you can you swap it? Yes. So add plus 1 count for it. And if you look at the last item, yes, it is 3 and 2. Uh, so you are looking at 3 already so you need to skip it and you are done so you could actually make all the tops values to be equals to 3 and the number of swaps you took was 2 now since you can make all of these equals to uh, 3 by taking minimum swaps equals to 2 then i will also try with the bottoms i will also try with the bottoms because what may have happened is in the bottoms maybe all the values were already 3 who knows all the values could have been already 3 then in that case, it will take zero, zero number of swaps to make it equals to 3, right? So in that case, I will be minimizing this 2 to even 0 or maybe 1 or 2, whatever it is, right? So in, in this case, if you if you parse and see, then you will require 3 swaps. 1 swap, 2 swap and 3 swap. So the count you get to make the bottoms equals to 3 is actually uh, 3 steps. That means 3 swaps and the tops equals to 3 can be made in 2 swaps. So you take the minimum. Okay, so we need to try this for all the faces 3, 4, 5, 6 and we need to minimize the number of swaps it takes. Now, if we are not able to make all the faces same for either tops or bottoms uh, for any of these faces, then we will be returning a minus 1 according to the problem statement. So, if you look at this example in this case, you cannot make all the tops equals to any of these faces from 1 to 6 and if you cannot make tops equals to any of the faces definitely bottoms will also not be possible according to the explanation so what we saw in the algorithm was uh, we need to try for each face from 1 to 6 and for every face we will try to make the top faces uh, the same value as we have uh, taken like let's say we will try with 1 we will try to make it 2 and so on till 6 and if I can make it, then only I will try for the bottom faces to be made equals to the same and then take the minimum of both the counts that if I try to make all the tops equals to 1 versus if I try to make all the bottoms equals to 1. Whichever is minimum, you just uh, store it. And overall, when you go across all the faces, try to minimize, minimize this minimum count value. Okay. So in this particular example, if you try to make all the tops to be equals to threes then you can do it in two swaps and all the bottoms can be made as threes in three swaps so if you minimize then you will be getting two as a result right so if tops can have equal faces then only the bottoms two can have equal faces as we know right now in this example if you look then the tops already have two comma two and bottoms have one comma one so already they are equal faces so in this case you can just return zero as the number of steps right so I think these examples are pretty clear and I think we can just uh, see the dry run. So I have taken the same example and I will be trying all the numbers from 1 to 6. I have taken minimum rotations equals to infinity because I want to minimize it and I will be starting with n value equals to 1. That means I want to make all the tops value equals to 1. How to do that? I will be iterating from index number uh, 0. So let me mark the indices. I will start at index number 0 and can I make it equals to 1? Yes. I have to do a swap. I have to do a swap to make it equals to 1. So the swap count will be incremented. Let's uh, keep a counter. So it will be incremented to 1 and we will be going to the next uh, item. So in this case, the current item is 2, which is not equals to the face that I want to make. So I look at the bottom set i, which is also not equals to the face. And that is why uh, I cannot make this swap. And, and as soon as you see that top set i and bottom set i is not equals to the given face, then you return integer maximum or something so this will be infinity right current uh, count of tops will be infinity and if you get an infinity that means you could not make the tops equal to 
the face value which is n equals to 1 then the bottoms will also not be possible to be made equals to 1 and so you don't need to count for the bottoms and now you will try to minimize the minimum rotations with infinity comma uh, comma infinity right infinity comma minimum of infinity infinity so it will remain to be infinity right now i will try for again uh, face value 2 and try to make all of them as 2 so if you look at the index 0 itself this 3 is not equals to 2 1 is also not equals to 2 so even the swap cannot make it 2 and therefore this is also not going to work so it will remain to be infinity and so bottoms will also not be tried your minimum rotations will not change if you try with n equals to 3 face value then you see this is 3 so it will be skipped this is 2 but the corresponding item is 3 so the swap can happen and you can add plus 1 count for it this is 3 will be skipped 3 will be skipped this is 6 but the corresponding item is again 3 so plus 1 count for this this is 3 and it will be skipped so the total swaps you require to make tops equals to 3 is equals to 2 count and so since it is not infinity now i will try to make bottoms also equals to 3 now if you try this will have plus one count because if you want to make bottoms equals to three then a swap will be required with this item right and this will be skipped here again this will require one swap so plus one count this will be skip skip and this will be requiring one extra swap so three swaps are required here so minimum of two comma three is two and uh, two comma infinity is two so minimum rotations is two here now i will again move on to four four five and six and you will find that the first item itself will be the breaking case because uh, they i mean none of them are equals to four or five or six and that is why it is not going to work so the minimum rotations will be two in this case right so i think you have understood the idea behind the solution now the time complexity will be six times of n because we are iterating through the array six times and so you can assume it to be order of n the space complexity is order of one because we are not taking any extra space rather than taking just three variables let's now look at the code if you are someone who is looking to prepare for top product based company within a limited time of just three months then we have brought for you both the dsa and the system design live interview training program the most important feature of this program is you get a filtered and condensed structured curriculum in-depth discussion of all the topics and my guarantee of your understanding one-on-one -on -one guidance with me and live weekend classes to know more about the training you can whatsapp us on this given number in this problem we are given the top array bottom array and i will be assigning minimum rotations with infinity which i want to minimize then i will be trying out all the faces with the number one to six and for every number we will try to rotate by matching with the given number so first of all i will try to make the uh, tops match with the given face value and count the number of steps so this is the code for uh, counting the number of steps you require to make all the tops value to be the same so if the number is matching with the face value then we will not be incrementing any count as i shown in the dry run otherwise if the first that means the top at i is not matching let's say it was 5 and you are trying to make the face value as 3 then the then the bottom bottom at this ith index must be 3 okay must be 3 must be matching with whatever is the face value i require and so in that case i will be adding plus 1 but if the bottom was actually 4 let's say and the face value was 3 so none of them are matching so immediately return an integer maximum saying that we cannot actually make all the tops to be the same value right now we we will not just be uh, stopping at making all the tops to be the same value but if we can make it to be the same value then i will check if it was not integer maximum then i will also try to make bottoms to be the same value because the bottoms can be made equals to whatever tops was made equal to with a lower number of steps it can be possible and that is why we will be trying it only when the count tops is not infinity okay and after trying this out take the minimum of count tops and count bottoms and then minimize your minimum rotations and after you have tried all the face values then you return the minimum rotations if it is still infinity means you need to return minus one it is not possible to make either tops or bottoms equals to the same face value after rotations and uh, if it is not infinity then just return the value so i hope the code is clear if you still have any doubt then feel free to comment below and i'll try to help you as soon as possible see you guys in the next video thank you